representation for black women. I tell, Stop posting her. She's disgusting. I feel like when they say disgusting, they're not fucking lying. I feel like the people ain't, if you, whatever you heard about me is the truth. Uh -huh. I don't give a fuck. You know how you break all barriers? You break them by telling them everything. Yeah. So now that I told you everything, there's no exposing. Like, it is what it is, bitch. I did OnlyFans during the pandemic. We were all fucked up. Some of y'all was sucking dick for free and still had no food in your fridge. Okay, okay. Welcome to Storytime with a Grown Woman. That's swag and the debut is silent. All right, housekeeping time. Let's make sure we like, share, comment, subscribe. I want to grow my channel, build a community, and be able to speak to people on a broad spectrum of the world. So I thank you for that in advance. So now let's get into why Sukiana is better off than a whole lot of y'all females out here. Uh, who is Sukiana? Well, I saw her on one of those reality shows. I think it was the Miami one, I think. I'm not really sure. It's been a while because I don't really watch those anymore. But, um, anyway, I saw her and I saw what I saw and which my perspective is always different from a lot of people's perspective because I see I see it from multiple sides and a lot of people only see things from one one side so um when I saw her I was like damn she bold she is definitely bold I didn't say she was wrong but I said she was bold and I saw this interview with her on um no jumper uh, with Adam 22 uh, with Adam 22 show no jumper so I saw a video of her and she said what she said was the most truth I've ever heard someone someone say and she doesn't get the respect that she deserves because people can't see farther than the things that she says so it's not going to be received so I'm hoping that I can give you a different perspective on Sukihana and you know maybe again you'll see where she's coming from but if your mind is only one track you're not liber sexually liberated you don't understand things like that you're not going to understand what i'm saying so anyway so who is suki hana um according to this article it says suki hana became a household name on Love and Hip, yeah, I said one of those reality shows. I thought it was Love and Hip Hop Miami. So on Love and Hip Hop Miami, um, much of this opened up her to produce her own content during the lockdown. Sukiana, during the lockdown, Sukiana did just that, and she became a household name. Once she built her audience, she began releasing her own music. Um, a lot of her music is suggestive music, sexual, um, just like her video content. Uh, Sukiana carries herself in a way that makes people think she is a certain way. Um, when YK Osiris did what he did, which is this. Oh my God. Oh, she ran away. She ran away. <laughs> A lot of people felt like she deserved it. Um, they feel like she deserved probably a lot worse. But at the end of the day, I don't care what a person does. Um, they don't deserve to be taken. Whether it's um, great, you know what I mean. Um, whether it's what YK did to her. I don't care what she does. You don't. Nobody can just feel like they could just do what they want to do. Um, especially in the setting that they were in. They were not in a setting where a lot of sexual stuff was going on. That takes it to a whole different level. And again, if you're not in that environment, you don't you don't understand what I'm saying. So anyway, people felt like what he did or what um, YK did was okay. Um, it says Sukiana was understandably upset, which she should have been because that's not her man. Um, and she didn't give him consent to do that. And again, they were not in a setting to where he could do that. 
um, the only problem with that point is how a person acts ju doesn't justify a person imposing their own will on them. And that's what I just said. It doesn't matter what she does. Nobody has the right to just take her in whatever situation, whether it's kissing, whether it's graping, whatever. They don't have the right to do that. So now that you know a little bit about Sukiana, um, I also posted this video when she was in London. I'm trying to get my coochie stretched and eat a nigga ass. Eat a nigga ass. We be eating niggas ass today in London. Period. Baby. I'm trying to get this coochie stretched. Okay, so in that video, I was like, I hope she doesn't get locked down or detained over there like um, the sassy truck driver did because there are laws um, that goes against what Suki did. And um, so it's things like this that make people feel like you know she don't respect herself she doesn't represent women well um and feel like you know anybody should be able to do what they want to do because that's how she carries herself well at the end of the day again i don't care what how she carries herself nobody has the right to just take her so now why is she better off than a lot of women you women uh well as she stated in the video, it's a lot of y'all out here sucking dick and doing a lot for free. At least she getting money for hers, for one. Okay? Um, this woman does what she has to do for her kids. And I remember on Love Hip Hop Miami when she said she would do anything for her kids. She went, in some, some of the earlier videos, we would see her go home to her kids, loving on her kids, and you know, whatever, whatever. And at the end of the day, I'm sure her kids know what she does. She's prepped them for that. And I'm going to go left a little bit, but when it comes to Cardi B, Cardi B is very sexualized. But at home, she's a different person. So Sukiana is, to me, the same type of person or same type of mother. Um, her kids are going to be exposed to a lot of the things that a normal kid would be exposed to, like with school and stuff like that. Maybe they get um, homeschooled. No, they don't get homeschooled because she says she's taking them to school. But I really think that they're, she's going to prepare her kids for whatever she does. But at the end of the day, this is, what, and I'm not going to get on parent, her parenting style because it's not about that. It's about why y'all females want to say or think that she's less than y'all. But here's what differentiates her from y'all. Y'all bitches need to take care of y'all motherfucking kids and stop fucking these niggas for free. That's what y'all hoes need to do. Because y'all bitches be trying to judge a bitch while y'all see me on OnlyFans with my fiance. Y'all ain't see me with no whole bunch of niggas. Y'all can't even claim one nigga that I fucked. I've been with the same nigga. That's the type of bitch that I am. While y'all be trying to say, oh, a bitch is disgusting, baby. I've been with one nigga. And you don't see me suck and slurp and squirt all on that motherfucking dick. Y'all bitches be fucking multiple niggas. A day. What did she say? She said, I've been doing uh, the same man, my fiance, in every video that y'all see. She may do her stuff in public. She's admitted, I'm, a, I'm an adult entertainer, and this is what I do. You got them white hoes out You got those white females out there who do the same thing on camera. They're with Viacom and all of those different porn sites and stuff, but because Sukiana is what not on the specific label of porn, well, she's always admitted that she is very sexual liberated. She is what y'all call disgusting, what y'all doing the same stuff, she's just doing it behind closed doors. That's what it, at the end of the day. So, like she said, you know, there's no exposing when she's put herself out there and said what she is, how she is, and all of that good stuff. And, but what I admire her about, because I don't really follow her, but to know that the man that she does, everything she does with is her man. He's the one traveling with her. And whatever she decides she wants to do with him, so what? If that's what's making her money and taking care of her family and her kids, so what? We live in a country where anything sexual is just clutching pearl. You clutch your pearls to it. This is not a, a sexually liberated country. 
But at the end of the day, I, I commend um, Sukiana for what she does and how open she is about it. And she don't care. She was like, I don't give a F about none of y'all. So before you ladies decide you want to judge her and say that she deserves whatever she gets, you think about how many men you've done that to in the last year or two versus her one man. But let's talk about it in the comments. Do you see it from a different perspective now? And as always, thank you so, so much for listening to Storytime with a Grown Woman. That's swag and the W is silent. And if you didn't, please make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video.